because I have some problem recording this on my and uh, my but my mic is quite disturbed. I don't know. It is not picking up my voice. So I have to put my iPhone. You can basically I am recording this with this mic. My on my my lot of problem I have on my phone. My webcam is on uh, laptop. Okay. So let's start this today's lecture. So. Okay. So hopefully, I think you can see. Right. So first, we we'll give you a brief about the actual production flowering plant and what the chapter outline is and how. We'll, so we'll just talk about. So let's just start. First of all, we'll just uh, check this out. Flower. Uh, what so this is what what we call uh, what we call it pedicel that extra petals we call petals or we call corolla right some small leaf like structure or especially see some uh, small greeny extension uh, we can say leaf so they are known as sepal and uh, the that is uh, that greenish leaf like structure smaller it is sepal so petal is also known as corolla sepal is also known as this center which provides support as receptacle or thalamus so receptacle or thalamus right we have got in this female portion so portion is known as pistil Male portion is known as two components. This anther lobed structure, as you can see on my mark, this mark two, it is an and the structures of to to this ovary filament, filament and uh, filament to ovary, of ovary, and uh, on the top of Filament there is an. So this is all male side. On female side, sigma, this portion, landing portion of pollen grain, style, it's a stigma and ovary because uh, flower has to be look good and uh, it has to show some length to flower side ovary. So with this ovular region, uh, oval shape, that, that is ovary. This is female portion and we call it female side so stem is male portion so this is male reproductive part is stem uh, this is really good high definition photo i just took it from internet so this is stem receptacle generation of power or receptacle organs are produced this is petal sep protection of flower but all this this uh, some uh, what we call so flower ke liye, pollination, pollination ke liye petal hota hai. stamen is male part and filament here you can see this is this is filament and uh, here we have female region what well, it is reproductive part stigma upper landing portion style and here we have pollen tube not drawn let me just click it for you this is pollen uh, pollen tube this whole pollen tube and in between we have pollen grain and ovary is basically ovary and uh, ovule there so male reproductive part as well as female reproductive part both are really nice tag right so we have uh, anther cut down here we can see two lobes right anther is divided into two regions and so anther is in most cases it is bilobe so two means by two lobe are present so it is bilobe and right here you can see one and two 
when we just cut anther on from this is anther right let me just take one more thing okay so this is a book if we cut it from upper side and view it from upper side uh, what we call this uh, transfer section uh, transfer section transfers is we we view upper side so our eyes is here so is four structures right so each is e h e c a not theka not theka this is theka in anther theka are we call this by and two bilobed and this is whole concept is bilobed and tetrathicus this is bilobed tetra tetra t c a c u s t h e c a c u s tetrathicus wrong uh, on spell this one theca t h e c a and this theca or pollen ray so let's just uh, quickly jump into micro for microsporogenesis megaspore mother cell a cell from pollen grain or any is going to produce what we call that cell is mother cell or uh, mother cell or, uh, mother cell if that cell will microspore mother cell c and if to produce cell portion in in ovary excel megaspore mother cell mother if it produces then we micro so this is whole developmental region of microspore means this is four this is one tika one tika one so the we uh, this structure this is quite mature structure develops from zero right this is whole outer layer is known as then archaeus cells to develop this are will now what is the function in a section of main sporogenous cell is to in future become what um, mother so sporogenous cell in future microspore mother cell and uh, my uh, primary sporogenous cell by parental cell just a minute so primary sporogenous cell is covered by parietal cell we have epidermis outer all now here are some uh, small small development uh, layers of cells micro what we call anther epidermis and there is layer epidermis is endothelium this is out right in is known as uh, what we call anther wall and uh, this structure right how it uh, will i will explain it to you later and on center for mother cell or micro mother cell this developmental phase so here here on center we have this structure is quite developed and is known as from in future all for mother cell will divide and form pollen grains and at a certain time uh, tomium will break out it, and all the present in uh, in this uh, anther will spread from this uh, here you can see is broken down here here this tomium is also broken so this tomium region of so this is i just explain it to you the outer layer of epidermis this outer small layer is epidermis right we have two layers epidermis epidermis middle layer and we share layer are present these three layers thus right here we have really in between for made a micro 
just let me draw and, and side right so i have picked up green color uh, oh yeah really good so uh, whole this bunch is microspore mother cell right on outer side we have one. epitum we have got middle layer epitum middle layer endothelium epidermis this full arranged like this outer one is epidermis after that endothelium we have got middle layer and epi then microspore mother cell so four layers are arranged in what is the function epitum are small uh, cells which provide nutrient to microspore cell they mother cell will produce pollen grain in future so cell division division will occur what we want is a proper nutrition is provided to microsperma for future generation epitum may that new there for this nutrition epitum is provided by these two layers endothelium and middle layer combinedly and they nutrition they provide nutrition to epitum and tap nutrition to microsperma cell this is how all is but in textbook it is written as nutrition but uh, endothelium and middle layer epitum provides nutrition to microspore mother cell and microspore will produce and grains by dividing this is all pollen grains matured and immature what right this pollen grains from stomium lining is break and this pollen grain will so it's all about pollen grain now let's just talk about a mature pollen pollen grain is mature has Uh, let me just discuss it before the two cell discuss this brief right is uh, we have got two layer our first one is x sign and time x is made up of highly thick material cannot be destroyed by highly acidic ph 2 really what thick res high res resistant material that material is poropollenin it already mentioned detect in poropollenin then we uh, here comes in time in time making of cellulose this eggs and cellulose is uh, cell uh, in time is made up of cellulose after the cell for first cell is known as cell call it bc generative cell we call it gc generative main function of vegetable is new to gc right and both cell are reproductive gc uh, uh, requires more space but gc generative requires in groove right uh, here are some grooves right so as discussed exanthus which is highly resistant material and it cannot be broken any easy method right so at certain uh, this area certain of pollen grain uh, this exine is not present exine is not present not present so Greens, pollen uh, green stigma. What this should do, do is this poor nucleus will come out. How to do is this two nucleus should come out. If it is uh, totally packed by, they won't be able to come out. At uh, lining or at some area, this is not present, and from that area, this pollen. Uh, this, come out and produce pollen tube that region known as germ where a region in pollen grain where exine is it is basically a simple small 
area where exam is not there. Sporopollenin is not present. So this is how structure of usually question from general is asked and enzyme is made up of ask uh, a four marks question in it. So this question microsporogenesis is also important. So this is all division is and uh, this is all how male colon rain development occurs. From my side, thank you for being with me. Thank you. Keep learning. Just uh, so you learn good, right? Thank you.